Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the AI video. On this one, we're in Consensus, and Consensus is an AI research engine that answers your questions with evidence from peer-reviewed studies. These are not opinions. These are proper academic studies. It searches millions of papers, it ranks the most relevant ones, and then it summarizes the findings with citations, and it uses really cool tools. We're going to focus on all of them, especially Deep Search. It's going to blow your mind. So lock in, take a look, Let's go. All right, so the first step's an easy one. Just head over to their website. I've put a link in the description below. Just click on it and off you go. Now, when you log in, you will see a screen that looks just like this. And it's very similar to a Google search, except it doesn't have the nonsense. You're not gonna get search engine optimized articles and listicles trying to sell you a vacuum. You're going to get proper academic research. Let's take a look at some of the key features and functionality and dig right in. All right, so the first feature I want to focus on is Deep Search. Deep Search really separates consensus from all the other AI academic apps out there, in my opinion. Essentially, it breaks down complex questions into smaller subtopics, and then it delivers structured, cited answers. And I focus on cited here. The citations are critical. They make literature reviews faster, and they make them a lot more reliable as well. So let's take a look at how that works here. So here we are on the front page you'll even see here it says introducing deep search and you can just click on this try it button right here and it will give you some suggestions to get cooking now you can also go ahead and access it here with this little down chevron here and then bam we got three options we got the quick option it just does a quick summary it looks at 10 papers the pro option i use this a lot it goes through 20 papers and then deep search which i've got 99 of them left <laughs> this looks at literature reviews of 50 papers so this is the one we're going to select for this one here and then hey what are we going to ask in this case i'm going to say hey does creatine help muscles grow this can be anything you want it to be I'm going to go ahead and do that here. You'll see here it gives me some suggestions here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the go button, making sure that deep is selected. And then boom, look at this. Here we go. And this is the best part. Look at this go here. You'll see here on the right side that it is literally doing what I refer to as a chain of thought. It is showing you exactly what it's thinking and exactly what it's doing. The first step here is conducting an initial survey of the research based on our query on the right side, on the left side. You'll see here that it is giving us the results. And while we do this, you can see I hover over it. You can click on any one of these and dig into them. You can download the PDF. You can click on the paper. You can cite it. You just click the button here and it gives you the citation. It does all of this while it's thinking. So it's pretty cool here on the right side again while it works you'll see here that it's looking at foundation mechanisms and here are some of the searches that it's going through so literally it does everything you can imagine and it shows you the research it shows you the results as you go human clinical evidence there's the next one here so i'm just going to take a few seconds here come back when it's done this search we'll discuss it and then we'll dig in and we'll go a little deeper all right so we ran our deep search inside consensus let's see what we got here and i can already tell you we got the goods so the question of course was does creatine help muscles grow this of course could be anything you want it to be and then presto look what we got here we got ourselves a nice little summary or a recap here and then we get our introduction and it's all broken down step by step which is really really cool and then look at this here if i hover over number one for example here this is an inline citation you can see here you get some information just on the hover and if i want to go in deeper you i can click on details watch this i click details i have access to the whole thing including a study snapshot kind of cool let's click the back button here and let's go ahead and start again so there we go we've gone ahead we looked at the details if i want to download a pdf version of it watch i just click it bang i've got the pdf if i click open there it is guys this is seriously impressive stuff again this is just number one we've got a whole page of things we're going to go through here but just look how good this is again we want to save the paper for later maybe we're considering it citing it click the button there look at this we have apa mla i mean guys it just goes on and on and on it's absolutely wild and every one of these things that we hover over we have access to that said let's go down a little further here this is number one we're in introduction here we go we get a consensus meter this is big time this basically says hey yes or no if you've got a i guess an idea in mind and you want to see if it's uh you know hey does it help you grow muscles for example well 90 percent of the papers indicated yes so that's pretty cool and if we go over here you'll see we did 48 
different things. It was supposed to be 50, but I guess two of them uh, might have been discluded because they didn't have enough evidence. Yeah, so there we go. So we got 48 out of the 50, which is bloody good. That was about, <laughs> I never got that on the tests when I was back in college. So there we go. And I mean, guys, we could just skip through this here. You'll see here again, more things. The recency, when was this published? When was the average published? So it was 25, 2015, pardon me, or earlier which is kind of cool. We got 28 tier one studies. So these are the big journals instead of the obscure journals. You know, these are the pretty good ones. And again, you could go through this step by step, line by line. Let's just keep going through here. The methods, you'll see here that they looked at a thousand, what is that, 1,042 papers, and then they ended up including 50 of them. So yeah, they gone ahead and made some, uh, you know, they made some cuts, so to speak. So guys, it's all in here. As I continue further through this results, if you want to look at through the results, you can see they're broken down into different types of results, human clinical, mechanism of action, animal and cellular studies. And this would be, you know, a little different depending on what prompt you put in here. But again, it's all broken down very nicely. And then again, you have key papers as well. So if you want to look at the big ones, well, they're nicely, <laughs> they're nicely identified for you. And you hover over, you click the button and presto, it opens up the paper, including analysis and everything, guys. I mean, I'm just showing you stuff here as I go here. But at the end of the day, Consensus gives you the goods. It has it all. It is, in my opinion, the best AI research functionality. You want to call it an AI search engine, an academic search engine, academic AI search engine. There's a couple things you can call it. It's the best of the best in that group. As I go down here, you'll see here that the claims, the evidence strength, the reasoning, you can see you can click in here and go a little further. So if you're trying to, you know, prove your hypothesis or, you know, give a literature review and cover everything, it's all in there, guys. And then finally, this one's my favorite here, research gaps matrix. So if you're looking for a gap in the market or maybe you're looking for a gap in the research where you're trying to come up with an idea, for a test or an idea for an experiment or something like that, you'll see here that there are options here and their gaps are identified. Guys, that is a very quick look at consensus. It is the real deal. You have access to pretty much everything you can imagine if you're looking for academic AI This is the one, guys. I don't know what else to say. It's all here. So there you go, guys. There is a world one review of it. Take a look. I put a link in the description below. Guys, it's really, really good. It's worth a look. Give it a click, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.